What's for dinner tonight is the ultimate weeknight spaghetti and meatball sauce. Two beef bouillon cubes into the pot and put a bay leaf in their pasta cooking water as well. So I'm gonna give this a shot. I think it's gonna be phenomenal with meatballs. Makes sense, right? You cook this spaghetti in something that tastes like beef, then it's gonna taste more beefy when you put it with the beef sauce. Brilliant. Very clever, those Italians. So, gonna stir that around, give it a little zhuzh. Now also, I normally put in salt when I, when I start cooking the pasta because it's your only chance to flavor the pasta itself. But the bouillon has salt in it. So I'm just gonna stir it around to get the bouillon, start, you know, just start the bouillon breaking down in there. And you can already see it's changing color and turning into a lovely beef stock. You wanna cook the pasta to al dente with a nice little bite to it. Over here, we've got a, a quick and easy, just a weeknight spaghetti sauce working up here. I've got a little bit of uh, finely chopped onion and a little bit of garlic working over fairly low heat here so it can get nice and sweet and mushy. I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit now and we're gonna add in our tomatoes. If your kids, eh, maybe they're not so used to a lot of strong garlic flavor, you might wanna just put a clove of garlic, cracked garlic into the olive oil, let the flavor of garlic go all through there and then remove the clove of garlic and have a nice mild garlic flavor to it. I'm gonna add in my crushed tomatoes. And then the slightly sweet tomato sauce kind of cuts it and sweetens it up a little bit. And kids love a little bit of sweetness in their tomato sauce, I find. Anyway, any tomato products you have on hand will do. You want about six cups of tomato product in the pan. And then we're gonna give that a little zhuzh. Let me borrow the spoon from our spaghetti. Give that a little shimmy shake, get it all grooving together there. And then you wanna bring this up to a simmer because we're gonna cook the meatballs Grandma Rose style. We're gonna cook them like dumplings right in the sauce. And that'll put some nice beefy flavor into the sauce itself. So we'll have beef flavor in the spaghetti with the beef bouillon cubes in the water and we'll echo that meat flavor in the sauce because the little meatballs are gonna cook right in the sauce itself. Now over here, this is what I like to use for meatballs. I use a combination of ground pork and veal. I find it has a really mild and lovely flavor to it. Could even use ground turkey, whatever you prefer in your house. I'm gonna put in two handfuls of Italian style breadcrumbs. I'm gonna put in a little more of that finely chopped garlic because that's the way my hubby likes it. And then I'm gonna balance out the breadcrumbs with a couple of handfuls of grated Parmigiano Reggiano because I like lights of cheese in my meatballs. I know. And then we're gonna add in some chopped flat leaf parsley to freshen everything up and a big egg. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna hit it with a little salt and pepper. And this is what I love about cooking. And if you have kids at home, it's even twice as fun because you can get your kids to do it with you. You get to play with your food. Gonna get in there and get all mushy. I love it. Oh, it's so much fun. I love making meatballs. So you wanna mix it, but not over mix it. You mix it until everything is just combined. And then I'm gonna show you about the size you're going for here. The meatballs, you want them to be oh, about, the size of, uh, oh, about the size of a walnut or so. So just about like that, and you roll them in your hand. Oop, I gotta get that lid off. Yeah, there we go. You roll them about the size of a ball and then just drop them right down into the sauce and let them cook up right in the sauce. And they're so small, they're, you know, they cook up in about 10 minutes or so. So before you know it, you're sitting down to a nice spaghetti supper that tastes like you've been simmering it all day and only you'll know it only took oh, less than 30 minutes. I drained off the spaghetti that we cooked with beef bouillon cubes in the water itself. I took out the bay leaf. That was another trick I learned in Italy. That's the way they cook up spaghetti whenever they're gonna eat it with meat sauce or meatballs, which is what we're making tonight. Now, once I drain the pasta, I put it right back into the hot pot. Gonna toss it around with a little bit of butter while it's still nice and hot. And some cheese, little grated Parmigiano Reggiano, or you could use Romano. And a little bit of the spaghetti sauce itself before you put it in the bowl and top it with the little meatballs. I told you it was gonna be the ultimate. How good does this sound already, huh? So then you flip that around. I know, kids love butter and cheese. What's not to love? Plus you get the sauce flavor all through every bit of the spaghetti. Oh yeah, that is looking good. Then we're gonna put the meatballs right up on top there. Oh uh, yeah, and the meatballs have tons of grated cheese in them too and they cooked like little meat dumplings right in the sauce.